time for another lightning deck profile this one featuring probably one of one of the cards that i was kind of looking forward to that i was hoping would see more play and it's only seen just the littlest bit the raichu gx deck now the only reason uh, that I was excited about it at first glance was that it had an attack that was pretty much the same as Darkrai EX's attack. It was it was a Turbo Darkrai deck, now it's a Turbo Turbo Raichu uh, deck. So the main attack here is Powerful Spark 20 plus. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. It's, you just stack up energy all over the board and then it just gets more and more powerful. Now, it's weird that it's double colorless. I mean, you could, but you would only really then just do 20 unless you had more lightning energy on the board. It just doesn't make sense. We're just going to play strictly lightning energy here. Now, that's the main attack that we're going to try to hope to achieve. It's doable. However, building up that that lightning energy may be a little tricky because there's there's kind of a con to it which we'll talk about in a second but let's look at the rest of its attacks thunder uh does 160 damage choice band makes it to 190 it's pretty good but it does 30 damage to itself bringing its hp which is at 210 pretty good for stage one but it's going to be brought down to a 180 which puts it which puts it in range of a lot of pokemon that can one hit ko it so there's pros and cons to it uh, we're just going to have to see and, and hope for the best. Now, the Voltail GX attack is very similar to Lapras's um, GX attack, where basically it paralyzes the opponent. Uh, but you still do damage, and your opponent may not be able to retreat it. Therefore, on the next turn, you can just attack it with one of the other two attacks that Raichu GX has. Now, the other downside to this card is that it's weak to fighting Pokemon. Fighting is seeing a lot of play, buzz walls everywhere, so is Lycanroc. Um, there's there's going to be no escaping this. this. This card is going to have a hard time against those decks, but we'll see what we can do if we come across one. It does have a resistance to metal, which is ideal because we are seeing a rise in metal Pokemon. So, you know, we at least have that going for us there. But overall, it's a pretty cool card. It's a pretty good card. And I built a deck that's not of the usual standard that most people go for. So the combo I'm going for here is the Electrode from Evolutions. Now people have made this deck with Electrode before, but there are other things behind it that I'll explain later that, that's not of the norm. But anyway, this Electrode is useful because once during your turn you may knock out this Pokemon. Yeah, you lose a prize card, but you can attach it to one of your lightning Pokemon as a special energy card. This card then provides two lightning energy only while this is a card is attached to that Pokemon. Two lightning energy. Now it has to be attached to a lightning Pokemon, so obviously it's going to be our Pikachus here. And that just pretty much is going to accelerate. Um, between that and the Max Elixir, we should be able to get enough lightning energy on board to start you know, one uh, to start two shot. Um, if not, hopefully we can get that one shot. But there is a lot of potential here with this Electro. That's why I play a 3-3 line. Um, whether I want to use two sets or, or just one, you know, it's going to be useful to get them out there. Um, the reason I use why this is not the norm, because I'm playing two counter catchers here. I have yet to see a deck and I could be wrong, like I said, I have yet to see a deck that uses Counter Catcher. Now, I use Counter Catcher because if you're going to be behind on prize cards because of that um, Electrode, why not use a card that acts like Lysander when you're behind prize cards so that we can catch up with that. So, usually what ends up happening is that I, uh, I would use Electrode, lose a prize card. So, my opponent's down to five, I still have six. But then I use Counter Catcher, bring out a GX card that I can hit and can KO, and I'm up ahead one prize card now. So there's you know a little give and take there. Um, it does become useful. It does. So that's why I'm playing the two Counter Catchers. As far as everything else, uh, three three Pikachu Raichu GX line. Uh, I'm playing this one because I don't have enough of the 70 HP Pikachu, which actually would have been better. But uh, this one more in particular because of the iron tail attack 
flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 20 damage for each heads. There's been a couple matches where I actually was able to get like 60, uh, 60 damage on a couple of Pokemon and yeah, and it, it helped in the long run. So not not too bad, not too bad for one energy cost there. Um, I do play the Rangaroo for the draw support, obviously. The two Tapu Leles, I know, I think I'm, I used to be just the one Tapu Lele guy. I think I have to give it up to two. I am liking the two because I just don't like starting off with Tapu Lele and I just want to be able to have that option of having another Tapu Lele handy. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed in myself. I also do play a Zerkitry GX card. Now this one can be used a couple ways. First of all, its attack is not that bad. It does 100 damage, yes, but you get to discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So hopefully you get to discard something that it was useful to them, but you know, now they can't access it. Uh, then there's a GX attack, your opponent reveals their hand, add a card you find there to their prize cards face down. I don't think I will ever really use this, but it's nice to have in the case that may, you know, end up stalling the game a little bit for me to find opportunities to win. We'll see. The ability though is kind of why I mainly play it. So it prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon to have any special energy attached to them. I can basically use it as a wall in case my opponent plays special energy. Basically, um, Buzz Wall, since people like to use strong energy with that one. Zoroark, which likes to use double colorless energy. It's, I, it's an ideal tech into a lot of lightning decks, so that's why I play it there. Now, that's all the Pokemon. As far as energies, I play 11 just to maximize that max elixir there. And then supporters. Um, my usual draw support of the four Cynthia's, three ends, one Sycamore. I play one Guzma only because I have the counter catchers. Uh, I don't like playing counter, like, I don't like playing both of them together, but I find myself being in situations where I'm still behind prize cards. So I, I still find counter catcher uh, to be a better fit, um, but I still have the one Guzma in the case that I need to actually draw out uh, another of my opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, one Eva Soda just to kind of thin out the deck and hopefully evolve into Ivy Electrode or the Raichu. One Pal Pad to get those draw supports out again. Uh, Super Rod, Rescue Stretcher, my usual combo. Four Ultra Balls, three Choice Bands so I can bring that 160 Thunder damage to a 190. Uh, I'm trying to see the one Bridget. And then I do play Parallel City so that way I can keep my opponent at bay, maybe slow him down a little bit. Um, I could technically also reverse this and do his weakness, but I find myself using more of the limiting my opponent to just three Pokemon on the bench. That seems to be work. Uh, that seems to work a lot better, but that's gonna be pretty much the deck. It's pretty straightforward. Um, my goal is to just try to get as much lightning energy as possible and be able to attack, attack with Raichu as fast as possible. Otherwise, my opponent is going to get a good lead on me and I there's there's a very small window I have in which if I don't make it to a certain point then this deck starts to kind of struggle a bit but we'll see what we can do so let's go ahead into the matches and hit play I'm gonna go ahead and play some music I don't know if you guys can hear it It's a random assortment of Pokemon music. All right, I'm gonna call Tails, and I lost the coin flip. I would much prefer to go first, but you know, you can't win them all. <clears throat> oh, he's letting me go first? Well, this is unexpected. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do Bridget or if I should save it for, or if I should use, use a draw support. Hmm. So it's not a bad hand. I would have much preferred a Voltorb. Can he knock me out? 
20 more damage for each dark energy. I don't think he can knock me out just yet. So it's interesting that we're playing a turbo dark ride deck. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I didn't check my deck. I could. Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to get rid of Pal Pad and the Electrode because I can bring it back later. And I have two more Electrodes, which is more than enough. And I'm going to get Voltorb. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get Voltorb out and ready. <clears throat> and then I'm going to play Lele. Yes. I'm going to play Sycamore. Since I have no cards in hand, so I won't be discarding anything, and this gives me another seven whole cards to play with here. Good, good, all right. See, I'm liking this. <clears throat> Oof, missed it. Okay, and I have that. I think I'm good here. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, let's see what he can do. I'm worried why he let me go second. Usually... Oh, um, because he wants to be able to attack, but he's only going to be able to do 20. That's 30. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. All right, so let's start evolving here. Let's get this Electrode. <clears throat> let's go ahead and evolve. I'm going to go ahead and... What do I want to do here? I could evolve again. I can always get this Pokemon back out, right? Do I have Super Rod? I have my Super Rod and my Rescue Stretcher is prized. Okay, not ideal, but it's all right. We'll go ahead and get Electrode out. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and play Cynthia. Now I need to be able to do 220 damage. Ooh. This is actually an ideal time to play this. That's fine. Just trying to thin out my deck here a little bit. Do, do. Ooh, actually, do I have something here? Okay, so let's see here. If I do... Hmm... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, wish I could do the math really quick. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, that's 140, 160, I will need a choice ban. If I can pull a choice ban, I can KO him on this turn. I need a choice ban. It's going to be crazy, but it might just work. I think this is game. I think this is how it goes. Oh, okay, so watch. So I'm gonna attach it to him. He gets a prize card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, not even. I didn't even have to do that. I don't know why I could just use Dunder. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. All right, well, first match, that was done. <clears throat> so even without the Nair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's 140 plus the 20 is 160, so I would have been able to do 190 with the powerful, with the, with the spark anyway. Powerful spark? Yeah, it's called powerful spark. So, boom, all right, easy enough. One down, two more to go. <clears throat> Yay, two cannon. Not that I really want it. That looks like an interesting card, though. All right, so second match. As you can see how fast I could build up the lightning energy, but again, my opponent gets his prizes. So, you know, you have to kind of factor that in when you're going to use Electro there. It's not ideal to be losing prizes like that, but if it comes down to it, it comes down to it. All right, so here we go. Oh, no bueno. Did he not draw? Okay, good. He didn't draw any basics either. That's fine. I don't like it when my opponent draws extra cards. 
I start off with an Oranguru? Why? If I can top deck a Pikachu, then I'm okay. But... <clears throat> Hmm. Oh, we hit him again three times. He's playing Infernape. Anyone else? I don't see anyone else. He's playing that burn. I wonder how this is going to do. Yes, to these. Choose a Pokemon to start on your bench. No, thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. I am going to play... Tapu Lele. Oh, he's playing Entei with this card. Okay. <clears throat> I am just going to have to accept that my my Ranguru is just going to be gone. Like, I'm just going to lose a Ranguru. I just have to accept that. <clears throat> Alright. One Voltorb should be okay. I did not realize, though, that I do not have any draw support. So that was a huge mistake on my part. Ah, oh, with that one. Let's see here, do this. <clears throat> should I go into play this or should I wait? I think I should wait. Play that there. And I'm gonna hold on to everything else. All right, let's see what he got. So far, I can do 60 damage if I evolve into a Raichu. Well, I'll do 80 because I still need to attach another Lightning Energy. But let's see what he does. I'm hoping he Bridget's. So that way... Ooh, getting ready two draw supports? Is his hand that good? <clears throat> For Entei. Unless he has Sycamore. Huh. I would say I've never played against an Entei Infernape combo deck. I've seen it played, but I've never played against it. Okay, he had another Cynthia. It's a little too many draw supports, though, for my taste. <clears throat> oh, and he plays this Landit. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and just limit his bench already. Or should we... Ooh, this is a good one. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and limit his bench. I don't want him to pull too many good things here. Let's go ahead and evolve. Right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and evolve. And then I'm just going to go ahead and play Cynthia. <clears throat> he doesn't play any special energy, so I don't really need that right now. Um, I could get another Voltorb ready, which actually I think that's what I'm going to do. Do I have another Lele in here? Okay, I do. I have two more Ultra Balls. I have my Guzma. Oops. Oh, no. So I'm gonna set this down because what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do the whole two like what I was did what I did the last game was just get rid of two electrodes but stack up on that lightning energy. Ooh, there's one right now. Actually, no, I think if I shouldn't have attached to him because I was gonna attach an electrode. Uh, let's see. I think that's well, that's all I can technically do. So I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> Let's see here. He's got a retreat. It's going to be the Monferno. Floatstone, so you can start attacking with that Entei. Sycamore, what's he getting rid of? What's he discarding here? An Infernape. Is that, doesn't that make two Infernapes? All right, so you can start attacking with Combustion here. It's only going to do... Oh, he's not. He is not going to attack. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
8 times 20 is 160. I'm doing 190 with choice man. So I need to be able to pull a Guzma. If I can pull a Guzma, that'd be fantastic. Uh, unless... This might be a bit overkill. <clears throat> I think I still have my Lele in there, right? Because <sighs> I haven't drawn, I haven't played my draw support yet. All right, this is not going to be good for anyone's health. But it would slow him down, and I think that's what I want to do. It will catch me up, that's fine. All right, so this is gonna be an extremely weird play here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he knew I was going for that Entei. He knew it. Because then if I did, it slowed him down so much. That was two turns of energy that was wasted. Oh man, people are fearing the Raichu right now. Oh, that's kind of, I like that, I like that. All right, but you can see how the build up there is gonna put a lot of pressure because they know I'm building up all this energy. Even if I lose one of those Pokemon, it's not like a huge deal because I still have enough energy to do some damage. But the fact that I was gonna take down his Entei GX that had only those two energies that he invested every turn in it was going to be gone he had to start from scratch so yeah i'm liking this i'm liking this do i have any water left i do all right let's see what we got oh as i just shook the whole desk earthquake uh i'm gonna call heads this time i lost the coin flip again all right that's fine <clears throat> So two for two. Ooh, I am liking this hand. Yep. Ooh, except for I don't have an energy. Huh. That's actually a no-go. He's playing a Guzzlord deck. Oh, ooh, no, no, I don't like this hand anymore. <clears throat> uh, I need energy. I don't have to worry. It's not his bench I'm worried about. I need energy. All right, so here's what I'm going to have to do. I don't want to, but I have to. I have only nine energy, so I only twos are prized up. All right, let me get this. <clears throat> let me get him out there. Yes, I want a Cynthia Synth or N. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me play N on this one, just to kind of mess with the deck, too. <clears throat> OK, thank you. Now I have energy. Oh, boy. What does he need? He needs five in total. Sure. Let's do some Iron Tail. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> That's the most I've seen from one Iron Tail so far. That's crazy. Oh, he plays two. All right. Be that way. <clears throat> but I got his, his HP down to half, so let's see what he discards. Oof. All right. Uh, get rid of two Guzmans. I wonder what kind of deck build this is. <clears throat> All right, put it on the Tapu Lele. Cynthia, let's hope for a Raichu so I can start doing some damage here. Uh, let's see, gotta use this wisely. 
I'm gonna need my Raichu. 2040. Oh, man. I need to do what? How much damage do I need to do? I need to do 100. So 2040, 60. If I can land this one. Oh! I didn't discard any Pokemon either. But I need to start doing damage. How much does he do? 180? Okay, so let me get rid of... Rescue Stretcher and Boltorb. To get Raichu. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. No, I do. I do enough. I do enough. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Okay. I panicked there a little bit because I was like, "Did did I put enough energy down? Do I have enough damage? I don't know." <clears throat> All right. Let's see what's going on here. He puts energy. He's gonna use eat sloppily. Three, four. Oh, and five. And so, okay. Relax there, big boy. Relax. Now, the thing is, that's all he's got. I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna use Tapu Lele. And. Okay, that was weird. He had a really weird deck. Obviously, it was a troll deck, it was a meme deck, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, wow. All right. Um, that was three. That was pretty quick, too, and I never got to finish a game. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and play one more, one more, and hope that it's a full match or I lose. Either or. I'm okay with losing at this point because you can see how fast Raichu can build up. You can see how much pressure it puts on the opponent when there's that much damage. Um, it's a good deck. But there are some decks that are faster. Is this a Bulu deck? I'm hoping this is a Bulu deck, but I didn't see a lightning symbol. So we'll see what happens here. I'm calling the coin flip. I want to go first this time. I did. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> Let's see what I. Ugh, see? This is exactly why. This is exactly why. But there are some things I can work with from here. I'm definitely going to bridge it. Lele for the bridge it. Because I've got enough cards to work. Oh, well, hello, Bridget. Long time no see. Oh, my Rangaroo is prized. <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and get Zerkatree out in the case that he plays special energy. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Nailed it. Go ahead and do that. And then that is all she wrote. Okay. Um, I probably should have put the energy down on the Lele GX, but I think I can hold off for a little while there. Maybe if I top deck an energy, I'll attach and retreat to the Zerka tree. We shall see. I want to say he's going to bridge it. I'd be surprised if he doesn't bridge it. You know, get a couple more Zeruas. Another Glycopod. Yep. So two Zeruas, a Wimpod. That's my assumption. <clears throat> Problem is, if I parallel City, then he's going to have to... He's going to get rid of the Lele, which is... I would want him to keep the Lele, because he's not going to really... The Lele is not much of a threat. The, Zor the Zoroarks are, and the Galisopod obviously are threats, but the Lele is not really ever a threat. Now the question is, the attach energy? If he doesn't, that buys me more time. 
floatstone. Ooh. So now if we can get a if we can get a um, parallel city, that would be the play right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and evolve the electrode because my Pikachu is just not ready yet. Although if I top deck an energy, if I top deck an energy and a parallel city and a Raichu, that would be great. Let's see what I get. But I didn't get the energy. Hmm. I'm okay with giving me a pal pad. I don't really need it. I wish I can get an Oranguru, but he's prized. Oh, wait. I don't have a draw support. Shoot. Do I go ahead and play it now? No, I'm going to hold on to it, see what happens. I'm hoping that I have another turn at this. Because so far he hasn't played any energies. Does he have a Zoroark GX in hand maybe? So he can start doing trade. I want to play the Parallel City. I want to really narrow down his bench. This is like the perfect opportunity to play Parallel City. All right, so there's a Zorua with the double colorless energy. I'm surprised he didn't put it on the Lele to be honest. Okay, he's got the Cynthia, so he's getting a full fresh set of six cards. Evolves it. Ooh, two of them. What else is gonna happen here? I'm not gonna Sycamore, I'm definitely gonna Cynthia, because I don't wanna get rid of Guzma. I, I'm gonna need that Guzma, I have a feeling. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. I just need to get an energy and a Raichu. That's all I need, an energy and a Raichu. And a Parallel City. Energy, Raichu, and Parallel City. That's what I need. Don't retreat, don't retreat, don't retreat, don't retreat. Don't attack yet. Don't attack. No, you're going to attack. <laughs> well, so much for Parallel City plan. <sighs> Field blower. Well, there goes my, my choice man. Okay. Now... See what happens here. Oof, I don't man it. Is that my last one? No, I have one more. All right, switch my deck. Yes, I am going to get a Cynthia because I don't want to get rid of my Guzma. Don't want to get rid of my Guzma. <laughs> well, there's the parallel city. Uh, let, let's get rid of those float stones. Do I am so stuck. I think I want to do this. I am just, it's bad that I'm stuck. That's the thing. I am stuck right now. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to lose that, Layla. I don't wanna lose it. 
He's going to get rid of this Lele and probably this Zorua. I don't think he's going to want to get rid of a Glycopod. His Glycopod is the only chance to start attacking the Zerka tree. Because he can't attack it now with the Zoroark with that double card list there. He can't attack it. It'll do no damage. He's trying to decide. Oh, he gets rid of a Glycopod? Really? Interesting. Oh, you know what? I could have... That would have been a waste of energy, though. Nah, that's okay. I could have attached the energy and then electrode onto the Zerka tree, but then Zerka tree would have had four energy total. That would be a little overkill. I don't want to put that much energy down on him. <clears throat> so he's going to take this KO here. That's fine. What? else is he gonna do he should start evolving that Glycopod. he's not gonna win if he keeps focusing on zoroark gx because those dces are only they're mainly there for the zoroarks and to use Glycopod's, you know other attacks but it's just not a good flowing combo in my opinion i don't know mallow okay so what he's going for floatstone Glycopod? probably <clears throat> oh, another Zorark, okay. <clears throat> The thing was Glycopod though, he's gonna take two turns to try to knock me out because once he puts a double Carlos there, he can't use his other two attacks. All right, so he gets this round, but I still think I'm okay here. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna add this onto there so I can definitely two shot. I'm gonna add it to this Pikachu. I'm going to put another Voltor down, and then I'm going to go ahead and start attacking. And hopefully get to discard something fantastic here. You know what? I should have kept that energy in hand in case he Guzmas. That's bad. But you can see here now how Zerka Tree is useful because he knows he can't attack me. He's going to have to hit me with Glassopod, but he's going to have to do two of those. He needs to do two first impressions. He can't attach another double Carless because I'm not affected by Pokemon that with, with special energies on them. So if anything, he needs to start attaching Grass Energy to the Zoroarks. If he wants to win, that's what he needs to do to start attaching the Grass Energies onto the Zoroarks. Okay. Let's see that energy attachment. Be smart about this. I want you to win, man. I want you to win. Because first impression does what? First impression does... 30? Yeah, that's not going to be enough to KO me here. Oof, unless he has a choice ban. Mmm... Touche. Touche. Uh, too bad this doesn't do any damage. Gonna have to go with Rumbling Wires. Hopefully, discard something he needs. It's not like he can use it. Probably has a Guzma. I'm going to assume he has a Guzma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Retreat, and then Guzma. What other play do you have? One, two, three, four, five. That's 150, 170, 190. But if I lose Zerka Tree, are you gonna play Guzma? You're gonna play Guzma. Go ahead, play Guzma. 
I see the play. Come on. Guzma. Guzma. What is he going to look for? Pretty sure he wants the Guzma. <clears throat> Next turn, I'm going to Ultra Ball for the Raichu. Alright, so Choice Bang goes away. I figured as much. How many, I would assume, six grass energies? <clears throat> Could have Acer rolled back his, uh, his Golisopod. <clears throat> He's going to just keep digging into his deck, huh? I am going to get the Raichu out just in the case that he wants to Guzma that out. I don't want him to. Has he used a draw? He hasn't used a supporter card yet, has he? Hmm. You can't attack. You're just putting it down just to put it down? Okay, there's the Guzma. So who are you going for? That, that Pikachu. Yep. I figured as much. Twenty, forty, sixty. What? Wait, wait, wait. Why? Cause I, I can KO your Golisopod. That was like your one win right there, man. Okay, I don't have anything else. Huh. This is strange. So I just need to do... Yeah, I have enough to KO him. Super Rod, that's good. Oh no, that's actually really good. Because I can Super Rod back my Tapu Lele. And then start... Uh, I can Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele and then get a draw support out. This is so bizarre. What is he trying to do? Does he think that he can... <clears throat> okay, see, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, do you KO him? Are you trying to get another? Oh, he does. Oh, man. Use up any grass energy. It's got three, four. I'm gonna do something dumb here. Now I get the right two. another Pikachu. I haven't evolved any Raichu, so I think it's okay if I lose the one. Okay, 
So here's what I'm thinking. This is probably not the best play, but it mm, it might buy me a little bit of time. I'm hoping he doesn't have any energies in hand. There's nothing there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what you got, sir. That's what I was looking for. I was gonna limit his grass energy search. <clears throat> I could play Cynthia. energy he plays. <clears throat> it's fine. 20, 40, 60, 80. Ah. Guzmas is that? Has he finished all his Guzmas yet? He's played three Guzmas. He probably has a fourth one in there somewhere. This, is, this match has lasted longer than I thought it was going to, which I'm glad because we're now seeing a full... Oh, did he grab his prize card? <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> no, this would be bad. Parallel City? Can I get a Parallel City? Actually, can I get a Parallel City? Uh, let's get rid of that. Because Actually, that would be fantastic if I can get a Parallel City. The threat I'm concerned about is this one here. All right, let's end them down to two. Oof. I don't want to give him a free KO, so uh, good game. That means he's got the grass energy in hand. Oh man. Go ahead, play the grass energy, play it. Unless you were psyching me out. Were you psyching me out here? Guzma? Wait, you just had the game. What are you doing? This, this, this guy is confusing me. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what's going on anymore. Mm. How many double Carlos does he have? You 
used up. One, two, three, four. Unless he's looking for float stone. Is that what it is? You're looking for the float stone? You already used up all your float stones. All right, so I think I'm gonna try to stall them out here. Because here's what I'm thinking. The only thing that could buy me some time See, he's not going to be able to KO me. He can only do 120. He's got, he got rid of all his float stones. Uh, at this point, I can't attack him enough to, to get those four prize cards. So the only thing I can do is just stall. So if I'm going to stall... best to bring out that wind pod he has no float stones no double colorless energy he would have to waste two turns of attachment does he have two energies he's got one four so that's five oh i should have put out the mm. Yeah, I, there's no way for me. There's no way for me to catch up as far as attacking him. So my only plan right now is to stall him. Because he's he's used up four Guzmas, four float stones. I'm not. He, there's no damage on the board, so he came in Acerola to pick up. Does he have enough? Even if he does, he would only retreat. Yeah, and then what? Oh, you attack me with Zoroark. No. No. I just realized that he would attack me with Zoroark. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Because if I take out Zerka Tree, he's just going to retreat, hit me with the Glycopod. So, do I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna psych him out a little bit. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Does that mute have free retreat? It does, it does have free retreat. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, what are you trying to pull here, sir? Switch this Pokemon, one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, well, this is all I can do. That's it, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Countercatcher? Nope. I got nothing else. I literally have nothing else I can do. Uh that was that was too long drawn out. Um he's got a full bench, no matter what he does, he wins. Well played. Go 
ahead and take it away. <clears throat> well, that was fun. It kind of was fun. I'm not gonna lie. I had I had some a good time with that. So I'm all for it. That was a good match. See, I this is what I wanted though—a full long match. And if I lose, I lose. But you saw how fast the first three matches went, and you saw how good this deck can be. So I take it upon you guys to find your own little twist and spin to it. Modify it how you think you could. Like I said, this is not of the normal Raichu Electrode combo. I think there are other trainers that people will use other than what I have here, but I like the way mine is. Um, obviously there's going to be certain matchups that it's not going to do very well so we just have to deal with it as we deal with it and that's going to be pretty much it guys um, as far as any um, upgrades just uh, like I said I'm I'm solid I'm solid with this maybe maybe not so much to counter catchers maybe just use the maybe Guzmos or maybe do 2-2 two, two. Two counter catchers, two Guzmos, drop um, drop a 1-1 one, one line of the Voltorb Electro. Who knows? I don't know. But that's going to be pretty much it. I hope, oops, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed Raichu GX as he gets to shine and sparkle in all his glory. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next time. Uh, I'm kind of running low on cards in general um i don't i don't have to trade for my gx's and things like that online and sometimes those are hard to, to come by so i'll try to see what i can do but that's going to be pretty much it guys um please like subscribe comment uh do whatever else that you guys got to do and i will see you all in the next video